When archaeologists unearthed two human skeletons in northwestern Iran, they quickly realized that this wasn't just a normal burial. The way the skeletons were arranged was an unmistakable clue pointing to a universal truth that transcends time and culture. But first, the find. The skeletons were discovered at Hansalu Tepe, an ancient Iranian city that's now a large archaeological site. From 1956 to 1977, the site was excavated by a team from Penn Museum, New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art, and the Archaeological Service of Iran. The settlement is believed to have been a trade hub. This was thanks to its location between the powerful regions of Anatolia to the northwest and Mesopotamia to the south. Archaeologists estimate that the site had been occupied since before 5000 BC. Over the course of two decades, then, Hezen Lud yielded many relics, artifacts made from ivory, bronze, glass, iron, and even gold. In fact, the site is most famous for a golden bowl depicting intricate characters and scenes which was found alongside the remains of three warriors. But despite these priceless finds, it's something else that piqued the archaeologist's interest in 1972. The team discovered a pair of skeletons that lay side by side and seemed to be sharing a loving embrace. In fact, it appears that the deceased pair were kissing each other precisely at the moment that their lives ended. And what makes this symbol of love even more powerful is the fact that the couple passed away during a terrible battle. According to the leading theory, Hassan Lu was attacked in around 800 BC by Urartu, a hostile neighboring empire. During the course of the battle, it said the invaders set the city on fire, destroying most of the city's buildings and burying 240 of its residents. But the destruction also left behind buried human remains and relics, preserving them in a unique manner. This has allowed archaeologists to reconstruct what life in Hazan Lu was like 2800 years ago. Furthermore, they could investigate exactly what happened on the fateful day of the city's destruction. They believed the couple, whom they dubbed the Hazan Lu lovers, took refuge from the fighting inside a small structure. It's speculated that this was a storage area or a bunker that the pair had used as a last resort to escape certain death. Unfortunately, the star-crossed lovers perished, either from asphyxiation or because the fire caused structures around them to collapse. But their nearly 3,000-year-old embrace survived reminding us that love and affection is one thing that hasn't changed through the millennia. What's more, the Hazan Lu discovery is not the only example of entombed lovers found in an eternal embrace. In 2007, for example, an even older couple were discovered in the village of Valdaro in northern Italy. The remains of this young couple lie facing each other with their arms and legs locked together. In fact, much like the Hazan Lu lovers, the lovers of Valdaro appear to be sharing a loving gaze. Furthermore, these remains actually date as far back as the Neolithic period, meaning that this couple could be as much as 7,000 years old. Elena Maria Minotti, the archaeologist in charge of the excavation, has said that this was her favorite find to date. I've been involved in lots of digs all over Italy, but nothing has excited me as much as this. I've never been so moved because this is the discovery of something special," she told Archaeology magazine. Yet there's another reason why this find is so enchanting. In fact, Valdaro is located close to Mantua, a city that serves as a location in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. But what of the other details surrounding this discovery? Although analysis revealed an arrowhead and knives buried with the Stone Age Romeo and Juliet, experts say it's unlikely that the weapons were involved in their death. They believe the pair were put into their lover's embrace by someone else when they were buried. But while Italy seems like the perfect setting for a pair of Stone Age lovers, you'll perhaps be surprised to hear that similar finds have been uncovered as far afield as Siberia. And in this case, archaeologists found not just one, but many graves containing skeletons intertwined in eternal embraces. These 3,500-year-old burials belong to a group that's found their way to Siberia, having traveled north from the Middle East. And there's another significant point of difference here. While the Hazan Lu lovers and the lovers of Valdaro are presumed to be the skeletons of couples who loved each other, the Siberian remains have a story that's considerably more sinister. According to Professor Malodin of the Novosibirsk Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography, it's possible that the husband died and the wife was killed to be interred with him, 
or maybe the grave stood open for some time and they buried the other person or persons later or maybe it was really simultaneous death he said speaking to the Siberian times another possibility is that these burials were inspired by a reincarnation ritual that originated in ancient India following this practice the deceased man's family sacrificed a woman to enact intercourse after death thereby granting the man a second birth but until thorough testing can be performed on the remains all of this is just a theory until then perhaps it's best to take the counsel of Russian historian Vasily Lubitsky as he puts it archaeology can't answer all these questions precisely at least not yet at least there is a certain beauty in this unfinished story the best fairy tales have always ended they lived happily ever after and died on the same day it's quite astonishing how the fairy tales become life as the bronze burials tell us a story of how some people were not divided even by death